Scorpios, come out to play. What's going on, my Scorpios? If you click that thumbnail, you know where you reached. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame, and I am O Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to the Marvelous Show. Okay? Scorpio, this is going to be your September 2018. How does Bay feel about you? Okay? For sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right? That's what we got to do here. If you are new to my channel, hello, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. I said it. And if you are subscribed to my marvelous tribe, ow, hey, honey. Now, this is that part of the show where I ask if you care to skip this marvelous intro, the reading will start at such and such time and it will be listed down in the description below. Let me give you a small caveat here. That reading timestamp will be listed in the description box. OK, it starts when I pull the romance angel oracle card. That's when the reading starts. That is where I timestamp. OK. I'm just putting it out there. There is no confusion. Everyone that's been viewing me by now, you should know that is where the, the reading starts. It doesn't start when I start talking about any other thing, because the very first thing that I talk about is your romance, angel, oracle energy. Then we get into the cards. I'm not going to skip that because that sets the theme, the tone, and that is where the energy, overall energy is. And that is where we go. That's the, the perfect launching point. A lot of the times they're hand in hand. So um, hopefully you understand that there should be no more confusion. If there was, I apologize. But if that that timestamp is going to start the moment I reveal to you, Scorpios and any of my Zodiac signs and any of my content, the moment I reveal the Romance Angel Oracle card to you that the one that's photographed. That's when the reading starts. OK, let's rock. So for everybody else who knows that, who knew that and you know how I get down, let's go ahead and keep it moving. All right. You guys know I start my videos out with gratitude. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you all from the moon and back. Thank you for your likes, sharing the content and subscribing to my marvelous tribe. For those of you guys who have booked me for your personal readings, thank you so much for putting me in your business. Ow, and let's continue to do so. Lastly, I want to give a sincere thanks to each and every one of you guys for your viewership, which leads me and launches me into the next order of business, which is the September contest. I'm extremely excited. I have not had um, a lot of time. My schedule has been limited. I have opened up some time so I can give away free readings. OK, because my um, scheduler is very limited and I know that we all live in different places and I've been getting hit up about that. So. I am going to be giving away free readings where I will deliver this reading to you um, based on a couple of different things. But I will deliver the reading for you and I'll have time to talk to you and connect with you one on one, um, possibly outside um, of the normal business hours. OK, if that's what you prefer. So let's go ahead and get into the contest. I'll be giving away again 12 free level one personal readings. I will be randomly picking a winner per zodiac sign. OK, um, one winner per zodiac sign. We will only be doing this for the How Does Bay Feel About You series. The winners will be chosen upon interest. In other words, it's more like a first come, first serve for free merchandise. If you feel like you want a free reader, you simply state that you're interested down in the comments. If it sounds too good to be true, Scorpios, let's get into because I know you guys be like, uh, uh, you have a hard time believing anything. So the parameters or the contest rules is, is you have to subscribe to the tribe. You have to like the video you watched. Follow me across my other social media platforms, Facebook, IG, uh, Facebook, IG, Pinterest and Twitter. Once all of that's done, please go ahead, copy, paste or send me the confirmation and or proof to me at readings at marvelousmadam.com. Once I have confirmed that information, I will send you 
a winner confirmation email with my scheduler along with your code so you can go out to the scheduler and redeem your free reading it is simple as that now for those of you who are not tech savvy or you don't um, follow any of the parameters here, if your circumstances dictate that you cannot follow any of the contest rules, do not fret. Hit me up. You can still qualify. Hit me up via email again at readings at marvelousmadam.com and good luck. OK, you have if you want to contact me, you can all of that information. You, you guys know how to get in contact with me because you get in contact with me any other time. OK, so uh, for those that are new with me, if you want to um, take advantage of a free reading, please feel free to do so. Um, and good luck. OK, let's get into the astrology snippet so I can get you out of here. OK, so Scorpio, the sun is going to go direct on September the 6th. Venus is going to enter your beautiful sign on September the 9th, as well as the new moon in Virgo on September the 9th. New ooey and gooey things going on in love. OK, the sun is going to be shining in the, in the sign of Libra on September 22nd. Happy birthday, Libra. So you will get your bonus, your birthday bonus reading. OK, full moon in the sign of Aries on September 24th. And last but not least, Pluto will go direct on September the 30th. OK, make sure that you set intentions with the full moon on the 9th and make sure that you release anything that no longer serves you with. The full moon on the in Aries on the 24th, the full moon brings about anything that needs to be ended, adjusted um, or acknowledged and or released. New moon is when you set intentions. OK, and at the end of the month, you see how they culminated. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get into these cards and how I do things, Scorpio, so I can get you out of here. This is a five card reading. Two cards represent the most recent past and present, the what happened or the what's happening now. One card represents the heart of the matter or the what lies beneath. Two cards represent the overall outcome. We will be blending the bottom of the deck energy for a more solidified message, pulling one romance angel oracle card, which will represent the overall love theme of what you might be experiencing. In addition to flipping the deck over and using the bottom of that deck's energy as well. And that card will not be photographed. All right. So. Scorpio, your card that's going to represent the overall energy for how does Bay feel about you for September 2018 is going to be soulmate. Soulmate. Now, um, somebody else had soulmate Pisces. They had that as the bottom of their deck energy. So did Virgo. You could be connecting with earth and water, Scorpio. OK, I definitely know that they had that at the bottom of their deck. Um, you have that as the overall love theme. This is that you're energetically knowing that the spirit is guiding you to know that, yes, this is your soulmate. OK, and they're they're telling you to keep an open mind because this person differs from your usual type and expectation. So you have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And your card is, yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even get you can't make it up, Scorpio. You can't make that up. That's fantastic. All right. So let's talk about it. Bottom of the deck energy here is the four of diamonds. We've been getting this four of pentacles or the four of diamonds a lot. There's a pre you're being preoccupied with money, all things financial. Right now, you're trying to get your hand on abundance. You're trying to figure out your way. You're being overly cautious, um, possibly. Uh, you're not extending. Um, you're not being helpful. You're you're he you're hesitating to help others being preoccupied with things, which means other things are being neglected. This is a love reading. So there you go. You're holding back something. Somebody's possibly holding back from you. Obviously, spirit is telling you that you have to keep an open mind. So you're possibly holding back how you feel from this person. OK. Let's pop these zodiac signs off. So let you know right now we have one major arcana, which is the fool. That's a good thing. So you have everything. Your primary focus is going to be love. We've been getting this strange dynamic with this damn four of hearts and this nine. This is a very 
I'm in love, but sick of love type of energy. This is, it's not reverse. I don't read reversals, but, but for some of you, we do examine both sides of the coins, depending on how the cards lay. So calm down. Um, this particular deck, these cards are so big, you know, it very rare, very rare is this damn card going to come in a reverse. It's hard enough to shuffle the, the card as it is. So ha ha he he about the reversals. But um, if it pops out reverse, which it never does, I will read it that way. But I do like to examine both sides of the coin. So reverse the reversal for this, you know. I just have a hard time with the like you have double four. So there's a need for repair here. Um, you're going within and I and that four of cups is really reevaluating or going within sort of like the hermit, but sort of like the hermit. But you're not like alienating the person, you're, you know, you're not in hermit mode. But you are in a mode and that mode is a very much so a mode of telling you that you need to stop and repair something. And I'm, I'm really feeling like this is the past Scorpio, but let's rock. Your focus is going to be on love. Your energy is spread out across all elements. So in a, in a lot of ways, you are the magician. You have your diamonds, which is represents your pinnacle. Pinnacle represents the element of earth. OK, you have your sword, your spade, which is the equivalent of the suit of swords, which represent the element of air. OK. You have your hearts, two of those, which, which lets me know that that's your primary focus that represents your element. OK, hearts is the equivalent of the suit of cups. Cups represent the element of water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. And then we do have fire. Clubs is equivalent of the suit of wands. Wands represent the element of fire. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. OK, spirit is letting you know that this person is your soulmate. I'm feeling like what you need to repair is the past so you can move forward. Um, we have double fours. There's a need for repair. You come to the mental clarity that you need. Your focus is on love. I think this four is letting me know that the wish is for um, um, emotional and material fulfillment in your heart. Energetically, this is what you want. But you're having a hard time staying ahead. You've been defending yourself. Hmm. Scorpio. You've, you've been defending yourself with this seven of wands. Also uh, equivalent to the, the uh, clubs here, seven of clubs. You've been defending yourself and defending your positions. You've been feeling the need to defend yourself, maybe because there's been a hesitation to help. There's been uh, preoccupying yourself with material where other areas of your life is being neglected and or this relationship. I'm not feeling like this is the other person's energy. I'm feeling like this is what you're doing to make them feel like this. So you're get, you're being put on the defense or feeling like you are you have to defend yourself based on the way you're making someone else feel. The cards is showing that that person is absolutely 100 percent correct and feeling that way. If this is what's going on, because for the simple fact, you guys have been very neglectful. I don't think the um, the intent is to do that, but you're being optimistic because we have the fool here. OK, that is going to be an un unexpected opportunity or a major choice. This is you going uh, choosing to move forward in this relationship and listening to spirit guide you and tell you to keep an open mind because this is a soulmate that may differ from what you're used to. That does not mean that there is a lack of love again in the heart of the matter. We do have the nine of hearts. That is you wanting that emotional and material um, uh, fulfillment with this person. OK, I do feel like you love this person in your heart. There is the nine, but something and I believe that's what this for stepping back, reevaluating. Wait a minute. Let me think about this. I think that is what we what what the what is Jesus, the reason why spirit is telling you 
to take a step back. But when you take that step back, no, the reason why spirit is telling you to keep an open mind because you took that step back and they're telling you that you can take the step back, but reevaluate the fact and go back in and 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 basically come up with put your eggs together and count and come up with the fact that this is your soulmate. And when you do that and you repair your past, because I think a lot of this hesitation is the way that your past relationships have went. OK. I'm truly thinking that that's what this is. This is the fact that your past relationships have went left or right, whichever, you know, you feel is indicative of something that's bad. <laughs> and because of that, there's been some some going back and forth and defending yourself because someone is not understanding how you do things. But that's nothing new, Scorp. You guys get that type of energy a lot because you're misunderstood. You mean well, but you tend to be misunderstood because of your passion. Your passion can come off as aggression. OK, you get fixated on what you need to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the, obviously there's a way to do it as a result of this wish that you have. We have these double fours that indicate that something needs to be repaired. I am feeling like the repair that needs to take place is the repair um, of your past. How do I say that and where am I getting that from? Because your usual type and expectations, that whole mentality needs to be repaired. Your usual type and expectations has no place here with here with this person in this reading. Let that go. Because your usual type and expectation, Scorpio, has not served you. It's time to allow the universe to come in and you trust and accept what they're trying to show you. And trust me, that's not easy. But once I, from a personal level, started to say, I know it's coming. And meditate and center myself and accept what may be coming my way, come what may. Not only was I better uh, prepared and equipped to handle the come what may. The blow wasn't as hard because I tried to get ahead of the tower. Now, the tower isn't here. So this is lightweight. One major arcana. That's the fool. OK. Major choice. You're going to choose to move forward with this person. You achieve the mental clarity that's necessary with this ace of swords. You end with reevaluating. And coming to the realization that, yes, this is your soulmate. The four of cups lets me know that that is you in your reevaluation mode, thinking about the usual type and expectation. Do I care about that? And as a result of you stepping back and doing that, that is when you achieve the ace of swords. Then the ace of swords is you overcoming Overcoming that adversity in your mind, that's mental energy. That's inner strength and mental clarity to move forward in this in this relationship. That's exactly what happens, because, you know, when something does not stack up to what we're used to. OK. We can get hesitant and this isn't a zodiac related type of um, type of trait. This is a people trait. This isn't something that just Scorpios do. Naturally, if someone you're you're starting to feel something for somebody. And this four is coming up a lot. The four has come up a lot. I think overall the energy that we just had Is you being very standoffish so you can contemplate, meditate and reevaluate. Hey, this person giving you this cup. OK. The person is ready. So I do feel like this is your this is definitely Scorpio energy.
Remember the imagery on the original right away? I believe it involves a person under the tree. The three cups are full and someone's handing him a cup and he's not paying attention. Look at the imagery on this card. This is a young lady that is being handed a cup and she's looking away. Okay. The cup is full. The cup is full, Scorpio. This person may not meet, may not meet your usual type and expectations and may differ from every single person you've ever dealt with. But Scorpio, my question is, how does this person make you feel? There's the nine of cups here. In the heart of the matter. There's love and you know it. So whether I, I feel like you're wishing for what is already in front of you and you're not seeing it because you're looking away. Look at the imagery in, us, in that card. OK. Look at the imagery in that card. You look the way and spirit is telling you to turn around. I'm not going to sing that. That was a great opportunity for me to uh, sing. I'm not going to do it. This is an opportunity for you to turn around and look and see what's in front of you. Open your eyes. OK. The double fours again is a need for re for uh, repair. You have to repair the mentality of. Usual type and expectations. What? If anything, it should make you feel like, oh, this person is completely different. Don't you guys like when somebody intrigues you and it's different from what you used to? Clearly, that's scary. Maybe uh, that and, and that makes sense. The natural detective in you is like, what? No. OK. So how does Bay feel about you? This is your soulmate. You do achieve the mental clarity necessarily necessary to move forward in this union, Scorpio. And you're going to do that feeling like the fool. You like look. It could be that you have been defending yourself from other people about their opinion about this relationship, too. And that's probably the reason why. Spirit is telling you, you need to get out of that energy. That's a possibility as well. I feel, but, but, you know, I feel like for uh, the majority of you, you've been defending yourself against your mate, uh, your partner, the person that, the person that you're connecting with, your partner, that person, because this, these, these two fours are saying that you're stuck. We know that. We know that overly cautious and not accepting the cup. OK. But the situation is going to be repaired and you're going to come out. Achieving the mental clarity that you need to move forward. So you're the fool. But you're the fool. Not no more <laughs> because you got a sharp mind and know exactly where you're going. So instead of looking at it with one glass, one eye open, one eye closed, the one, you know, the glass half full, 50-50, uh, knowing half of it and not really knowing the rest. I feel like this Ace of Swords pushes this fool where you may not know what those other what those other elements are going to bring. But from a mental standpoint, you're locked and loaded and ready to go. And walk toward your soulmate. And get and walk toward and walk together with this nine. Walk together, fulfilling this wish. Scorpio, that has been your reading. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It always is, Scorpio. You guys have really been having some um, good energy. Uh, the Cancers were guided to watch out when the Venus moves into Scorpio. For some of the Cancer suns, that's going to be falling in their fifth house. I uh, feel like with that new moon in Virgo and with that 
uh, with Scorpio going into uh, Venus, Venus moving into Scorpio. It's going to be a really good time to initiate some things, um, get some things off the ground, things that have been stagnant. So I told you what you were looking at. I let you know everything that the that spirit guided me to tell you. Scorpio, this was a beautiful reading. Look out for the 9th, the 10th and the 11th and just stay aware of the fact that things are about to increase, move forward. And I'm loving it. OK, so that's been your reading. It's always a pleasure to read for you. Go ahead. Like the content, share it with the Scorpio in your life. I certainly appreciate that. Um, please look out. I'll be here next week. I'll be back in a couple of days. You'll start seeing slowly but surely the uploads of your top of the month love reading. That's going to take examine the uh, love energy from the first through the 15th. OK, I certainly hope that one of you Scorpios listening will win a free reading with me. I can't wait to meet someone new here that um, has a, a new listener, a new person to my channel, one of my subscribers. OK, I can't wait to connect with you guys and I will see you back here next week. OK, Scorpio. Namaste.